Hi, this is George Cow. Today I want to talk with you about how when we share content, we share our message with the world, how do we deal with the fact that sometimes we hear silence, nothing from our audience, and or just a few little um, likes or comments here, just very less than perhaps we had expected. And yet sometimes we get a lot of praise. And how do we deal with that? Now, before I share this, I wanted to show you. Um, look at the uh, look at the fast moving clouds right above my head. Pretty amazing, right? <laughs> Here in San Francisco, it's I don't know if it's fog or it's clouds. Like it's clouds, but um, anyway. So I have had to deal with this a lot. Some of my content, most of my content, I should say, you know, they get. Uh, there, there's all of us have a certain average number of likes or comments we get when we post on Facebook or other social media you know for some of us we might expect just a few for some of for some others it might be a couple dozen that's their average but there's an average right so how do you deal with content that gets less than average do you get discouraged a lot of people do a lot of people think gosh I shared this piece I thought it was important it got a lot fewer likes and comments than I usually do so I should be discouraged and I should stop sharing. Okay, I'm gonna get discouraged. And I wanna give you a perspective right now, which is that if you share your message and your content from a place of service, from a place of really wanting to help, from a place of saying this is uh, an experience of life I've had or the expertise in my field that I've had, and I think it's worthwhile to share. If it's worthwhile to share, share it. Regardless of how many likes and comments and, sh and, and, and shares forward that you get. Okay? If it's worthwhile, share it. If you believe it will help people, share it. So what that means is you need to be willing to be vulnerable to say, I'm going to, it's okay. I, don't, I may not get any likes. I may get a lot of likes. I don't know. But this is worth sharing. So I'm going to share it. Okay. Now, now uh, on the on the flip side, sometimes you share something that you didn't expect would would blow up and be very popular, and it does. And what, there's a there's a danger there is that you might feel discouraged about sharing going forward because you think, well, how can I top that? But again, come back, come back to your heart of service, and to remember why you're sharing messages online, content online. It's because it's worth doing because it may help someone and you believe it's helpful and that's why you share it. Now, so what I encourage you to do is on a regular basis, don't worry about the number of likes, number of comments. Don't worry about the metrics. But on an occasional basis, maybe once a month, you can, or, or even once a quarter, you go back to your content and you observe like a scientist huh, which one's got the most likes, which one got the most comments, which one's got the most shares. And then you can analyze from there what the commonalities were. Generally speaking, the ones that get the most likes are because they were ex they were, other people also felt it to be extremely useful, not just you, or it was very entertaining. Okay, so it's usually one of those two reasons. But basically on a day-to-day -day or week-by-week -week basis, ignore the likes and comments, just ignore those metrics. But on an occasional basis, monthly, you go back as a scientist and you look and you, you evaluate and let that inform your intuition for sharing going forward. I hope that's helpful. Always open to your questions and comments and uh, uh, or lack thereof is fine with me because I felt this was worth sharing. So until the next video, I want to wish you well. Take care.